So first off, just give us a little bit of a backgrounder on the plot of the movie and who your character is. Okay, well, uh, the movie is Dark State. Uh, it is set in Hamilton, New Jersey. Now, growing up uh, in New Jersey, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens in New Jersey, for sure. Uh, there used to be this magazine, Weird New Jersey, we used to run out and get to just read about all the interesting uh, crazy things that happen here from, you know, down in the Pine Barrens where really this is set uh, and really all over the state. So uh, uh, definitely um, provides an interesting backdrop for this story. Um, you know, a girl on the verge of uh, breaking out as a movie star, a mysterious car crash, you know, some investigative journalism gone away, you know, perhaps a murder cult uh, that you can sprinkle in there a bit. Uh, certainly uh, plays into the, the really fun, uh, dark sort of trend that's happening with scripted uh, movies and, and, and television right now. And, uh, but also, you know, touches upon some really current topics, you know, uh, that are happening politically and certainly with, uh, I don't know, some crazy misogynistic, uh, maniacal uh, behavior out there, certainly in my business. Uh, but uh, my, I play Adorno. He is oh, just your run-of-the-mill sort of murder cult uh, leader. Uh, you know, sort of a uh, dark uh, and creepy guy for sure. <laughs> so did growing up in New Jersey give you any sort of uh, angle on this character? Yeah, I think certainly I knew some creepy people growing up. and But maybe not like this guy. It's a bit of a heightened sort of uh, character. and. But I knew I knew exactly what to do when I got there. And Tracy, uh, our our writer and director, Tracy Luca, Luca Films, uh, she is really a, just a bright and talented gal. Um, detailed script, um, definitely had a very organized and wonderful set. A thirteen day shoot, not easy wow. to do, even on a small small film. Uh, got there, knew what to do, you know, got dressed, played the scenes, knocked it out, you know? That's, it's, it's my favorite kind of work, to be honest. I, I've had some blessed opportunities to be on some big projects, yeah. but sometimes it's just like, you know, bring your own shit and... Make it happen. Make a movie, you know? It's very cool. <laughs> do you have a favorite scene? Uh, out of the, the film, and if so, why? Well, uh, there was uh, there's some there's some beautiful people in the, in this movie. I think I'm uh, there's a scene where <laughs> I might be stroking them in a very professional manner. I might add, <laughs> stroking a beautiful uh, young lass uh, in one of the scenes, and that was kind of fun. While you know there were some onlookers, my sort of cohort. Uh, in the uh, in this kind of cultish group was enjoying watching this all happen uh, and it's kind of fun to create that kind of sexy scene but while there's 20 groupy people like off camera watching you uh, it's fun to create it in a safe way for the girl uh, for me for everybody it's it's work it's not just me stroking a beautiful girl it's it there's a lot that goes into it especially now you know um that we have to all that we need to be conscious of and to be better uh at doing uh so certainly there there's there's a lot of work that goes into that and you know you don't think about that when you're watching those like our movies when you're a kid you're like you're trying to like sneak up on the tv to like maybe get a closer look is, is this help can i see down does this, is this work you know um you don't think about that stuff uh all those bad movies I was not supposed to watch, you know, sneaking out, can't sleep. Oh, I'm nine years old. I guess I got to go inside and watch late night HBO right now. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> some, some Skinamax and uh, see what's happening. So you mentioned that, you know, there are some resonances with uh, the political situation. And also I, I understand it was all written pre COVID. So, like, what do you see as some of those those um, resonances with what's going on today and and what's happening in the movie? Uh, women's voices being heard. Uh, 
stories that need investigating um us you know us being comfortable with just listening yeah and and uh off camera tracy provided an incredible set a diverse set a predominantly african-american uh running crew you don't see that i gotta be honest that was very cool uh you know for sure um addressing misogyny addressing uh violence against you know women uh certainly the influence of the entertainment business uh that it has over young people um so there's a lot of shit in there yeah so finally uh what what uh what are your plans what other you have this movie what are your other projects you're working on well thank you yeah dark state actually hits theaters march 19th we'll be in la and, and new york and salt lake and like 10 other markets uh you can go to lucafilms.com uh, and check it out or follow us on the on all the socials dark state uh or me at Constantine Maroulis on Instagram, ConstantineMaroulis.com. It's got all the uh, the shebang. I actually, you know, I put out an album over the pandemic. Uh, I was, had been holding on to it. And I said, you know what? We just got to put it out there. And of course, it would be nice to be out there promoting it. But we've gotten millions of streams. We have a, a single all about you playing radio all over Sirius XM. There's been interest. Uh, there's some syncs and some placement stuff already working on the second album because I had a lot of songs for that record. I hadn't put out an original rock record in over 10 years because I'd been uh, really just busy doing, I know, and now I'm like 80. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I've been doing a lot of Broadway and stuff, so, and touring other shows, and it just feels good to be writing and recording again. And so the album's out there, Until I'm Wanted, you can get it anywhere, Spotify, Apple Music, you know, uh, Google Play, or you can even go to my website and I'll send you a signed copy of a, a hard compact disc. It's this, this flying saucer sort of thing that's got like sort of a mirroring effect if you, but careful because you could get a pretty nasty paper cut, but I'll send you one of those flying discs uh, as well. And really just kind of just circling the wagons with my family. I got my mother vaccinated. I was fortunate enough to be vaccinated. Um, my inner circle, I've been working to get hooked up. And look, you know, we're not cutting in line. No, no, no vaccination shaming. You know, if you can get it, get it. And there are ways to get it. You know, I don't want to hear the excuses. Get online, figure it out. And, you know, if you have to get up at, at 12.01 and start refreshing, 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 get the shot, dude. Trust the science. We're gonna get there and you know, we all wanna get back to rocking and rolling together. Um, but I'm happy about the film. I got another film, Either Side of Midnight, uh, Roger Spottiswood uh, directed, that's hitting festivals now. So sounds like I'm super busy, but I, I just like to kind of keep a schedule. I think it helps to get us through this. Plus I'm clean and sober. I'm just on coffee. <laughs> 18 months, 18 months of just coffee. So I'm pretty happy about that, clear head. And, um, and that's it, man. I, I, you know, I hope we can keep it all rolling. I'm into my baseball cards again, like they, that has taken off. I don't know if you've read about that, but it's like an insane market with like trading cards right now. Uh, yeah. All the shit, like I grew up collect, collect, garbage pail kids. <laughs> They're selling hundreds of thousands of dollars. I shouldn't have like stuck them on trapper keepers and stuff because they're really worth a lot of money now. Yeah.